everyone. For this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to take a Reason Drum Kit's kit and assign each one of the individual samples or microphones to their own mix channels inside of Record. I've been asked how to do this a few times now, and instead of just showing you the process, I also wanted to create some templates for you to use in your productions as well. And you can download those from the link that I'll provide in, in this video. All right, so let's get right into it. The first thing that we're going to do is select and load a drum kit, which uses a lot of individual microphones from the Reason Drum Kit's refill. Since this refill was created for Reason primarily, the Combinator patch, which has this drum kit, uses the 14 by 2 mixer for each microphone that was sampled in the kit. And what we want to do is bypass the 14 by 2 mixer and assign each sample to its own mix channel and record, so we can use the EQ and dynamics of the mix channels to sculpt the sound. Go to the Combinator, which contains the drum kit, and click on the Show Devices button. Looking at the mixer, we can see that this particular kit uses 12 mixer channels. So we are going to need to create 12 individual mix channels just like this. Create one, and then holding down the Apple or Command keys on your QWERTY keyboard, select that channel and hit Duplicate, or D. We're also going to want to name them so we know which outputs to connect to them later. Now comes the fun part. Select the 14 by 2 mixer and choose Disconnect Device from the Edit menu. Each microphone in this combinator is connected to its own PEQ2 equalizer, even though they're not being used. So we need to manually connect each of those PEQ devices to their own mix channel just like this. Note that the cymbals and the overhead mics are using the Spider Audio mergers and then are connected to their own PEQ devices like this, and that the snare bottom mic is coming from the PEQ device here. Once we're all connected up, we can now delete the PEQ devices by selecting each one while holding down the Apple or Command key and then deleting them all. And now, we have each mic from that particular Reason drum kit all set to go on individual mix channels in Record. Now, I've already taken the time to do this for each kit in the Preset Kits Multi-Out All Mics folder, and I've saved each one as a Record song file, which you can download from this link here. The way to use these templates in your song is this way. While you have your original Record song open and loaded, Open up the record song which has the kit that you want to use. On that song, choose Select All Channels from the Edit menu, and then Copy Channels and Tracks. Now go back to your original song where you want to put the kit and select Paste from the Edit menu and boom, 
It's all there. Now all you have to do is program your drum parts on the sequencer track that is assigned to that kit's combinator, and you will have each drum microphone sample spread out on individual mix channels for you to start sculpting the mix. Using the templates that I provided for you in this link will give you a lot of different kits to work with in your music without having to do all of the routing. But following the process that I showed you in this video, feel free to go ahead and explore some of the other kits that are in Reason Drum Kits and assign them to different mix channels as well so you can do your sculpting using those mix channels EQ and compression. Well, that's it for this week, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.